In like my last video, I said no more unboxings for a while and I would be focusing on projects. But here we are with another unboxing. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing this Juniper EX3300 48T. The box is a little beat up and I'm hoping the switch is okay. This was shipped with FedEx. You can see the switch is completely haphazardly in there and it doesn't seem to be damaged at all. So that's good. It's nice and warm, just came in from outside. It doesn't look like there are any console cables or power supplies in the box. And considering the condition of the box, this is good. The switch looks to be in good condition. It also comes with two Arista transceivers. These are 10 gig fiber modules. And before I go into anything else, I should probably explain why I bought this. I've been wanting to get a Juniper device for a long time, probably about a year now. The other day I was browsing eBay and came across an auction with no activity on it, and I waited for a while, and I watched that auction slowly tick down. One person bid on it, but I outbid them, and I was able to get this for about $175. If you look up EX3300 on eBay, you'll find these are a bit more pricey than that, and that's kind of why I bought this particular item. I figure I could resell this at some point when I don't need it, because this is not a PoE option, and eventually I'd like a PoE version of this. And when the time comes to get that, I could sell this, get a bit of my money back, and then put that into the PoE version. On the front, we have the two rack mount ears and 48 RJ45 gig ports. Like I said, those are not PoE. We also have our four SFP Plus uplink ports. And again, two of those are populated with these Arista transceivers. And looking a bit closer on the front, I've never actually seen this before. We have an LCD readout and a couple of buttons there. We also have a few LEDs for alarm status and MST. I'm not really sure what that is. On the back, we have a management and console port along with a USB port for loading firmware. We also have two fan holes. Only one is populated, and this is the front to back airflow version. We also have a few tags for information and our power input. The sides are pretty plain, just holes for the rack mount ears, which we can put on the back, middle, and front. And on the top, we have a nice Juniper stamped logo. With the hardware tour out of the way, we can go ahead and start the system. Nice. It boots. We are currently sitting at a login screen, and of course I bought this because I wanted to learn Juniper and have nowhere to go from here. Um, so, looks like we're getting an alarm. It does say speed alarm 1 on the display there, so it's probably a fan issue. I'll have to take a look at that at some point. But I think for now we can turn it off. I think there's actually a way you're supposed to shut these down from the command line, and I'll have to look into that. However, that is going to do it for this unboxing. I'm pretty happy with this. I think I am going to have a lot of fun working on this. This is not going to be replacing my Unify switch. However, this certainly will be part of the home lab. But I think with that said, that's going to conclude it for this unboxing. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more. I also have social media. Go ahead and follow if you want to see incremental updates to my projects. I'll leave links to those in the description. Please consider donating via PayPal and Patreon. I also have an Amazon wishlist in the description. Any amount is greatly appreciated. And once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.